Hi, Dawn. Hi. You're known for your love of vintage fashion. Would you say you're a serious collector or do you just pick pieces that appeal to you and you know that you want to wear? I do think of vintage clothing as, as collecting and I will splurge on something that is of value and whether it fits or not because I have this fantasy of myself as an old lady with an archive. Would you wear those pieces that you had invested in or do you keep them pristine? Oh, I do wear them if they fit. Some of them just don't fit, but I've got them because they're just so special. I think there's a real thrill to that form of shopping. I mean, the outlet is past season, so it's not necessarily officially vintage, but that same principle that, that you have found this special treasure. Exactly, I love that. And I think whether it was last season, two seasons ago or 20 years ago, that feeling that you found something that isn't bang on trend or is slightly older, but that is brilliant. Your husband's um, an actor and you often have to walk the red carpet. Do you feel under pressure when you're doing that? We went to the Oscars and I just knew I wanted to be in a vintage dress. I went to my favorite vintage shop. I bought this amazing orange dress that fitted like a glove. I felt like a million dollars. And that was me at the Oscars. Oh no, I was just having the best time. I drank all of the champagne, all of it. Did you have a period of youthful experimentation and if you were to be able to look back on um, old photographs, would you cringe? Horrifying. Horrifying images exist out there. But I looked like I had just been like thrown into a secondhand shop and just kind of come out panting, covered in old rags. So do you have a style icon or someone that you can think of who in your eyes always gets it right? I've got two. One of them is Mrs. Brodie from Jaws. Oh my God, she's the queen of beachwear. She's everything to me. She's kind of my absolute style hero. Another one is, she's probably around 70 or 80 now, her name is Peggy Moffat, and she was a huge 60s model out here in America. She did these amazing fashion shoots, these kooky um, fashion shoots where she would strike these bonkers poses in these mad psychedelic outfits. She's everything. How would you describe your personal style then? Would you say you're a maximalist? Definitely. I like to push boundaries with what I wear. I like my clothes to express me. For me, expressing who you are through clothes is like, I, I think that people who don't use clothes as a form of expression are missing out on a really wonderful part of life. That's it. And also, I always try to put myself in the position of being at a party and we all get there and I do this all the time. We're going out to something and I just do not feel like going to this party so I'll just wear something boring. And then I get to the party and I'm one glass of champagne in and I'm like, I wish I was wearing my orange chiffon. You know, find that confidence of how you know you'll feel when you get out the house. People are very accepting of what you wear if you're confident in it. Once my husband said to me, um, we weren't together and he, he called me to say, oh, I miss you. And I just want you to know that when I think of you, I just see you walking out the back door in chiffon holding two margaritas. And I was like, baby, you know me so well. <laughs> Thanks Dawn so much for all your sartorial advice. And I am definitely going to come and join you on the side of Technicolor. Yes, do. It's fun over here. Thanks so much. Bye Dawn. Bye.